Hello, and welcome to the What's New for Compress 2020 Build 8010. My name is Matt Hyland, and I'm the general manager here at Coder. And today I'm going to go through some of the high level features of the new Compress build for you. So let's get started. So, what you see in front of you is a very, very tall tower. It's a very highly expensive piece of equipment that is going to require a lot of engineering hours on it, and multiple departments are going to be involved. There's going to be mechanical, there's going to be civil, there's going to be structural. One of the features that we've added in now is a foundation loads report so that these loads can then be passed over to your civil and structural engineers for a smooth transition between the multiple departments that are going to be working on this piece of equipment. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to the report. I've already gone ahead and run it. And here's our report. And what you'll see now is there will be a foundation load summary available here for you. And what's going to happen is the foundation load summary breaks down the loads for multiple conditions. So you're going to see wind, seismic, vortex shedding for the various operating conditions, which could be weight, wind, um, operating corroded, operating new, external pressure corroded, uh, things like that. And they're all listed here under the vessel condition as well. Then Compress is going to list out the base shear, the base moment, and the vertical force. Now, in addition to this, the support information is going to be listed here as well. So you can get the geometry factors. So for example, this is the skirt base ring, the inner and outer diameter are listed, base ring thickness, number of required anchor bolts, that information. So everything's located in a one report for you, for you to hand over to the other departments. So again, the foundation load summary has been added for Compress 8010. Now the next feature I want to talk about is the UG80 and 81 out of roundness checks. So I'm going to switch over to this and we added this in. So this is going to be available for uh, cylinders, conical sections, spheres, and formed heads. So I just put a very quick model together here for you. Now this check will be automatically turned on for you, but if, it's, uh, if you have an older vessel that you're moving forward to the new build or you, for whatever reason, got turned off, it's located under the ASME codes dialog. So you simply come up to the codes menu and select ASME. And down here at the bottom, you're going to see a checkbox for include out of roundness calculations, UG80. You click OK, and they've been turned on. So we simply just run the report. And then we can go through, we'll go through a cylinder report but they're all going to be a similar style. You select the, well, we'll actually select the outer roundness summary report first to show you here's all of the components, the max deviations, cord lengths, and equivalent lengths. But now what we're going to do is go through the actual cylinder report, like so. We're going to come down to the bottom. And at the bottom of the report, you're going to see an ASME Section 8 Division 1 UG80 out of roundness report here for you. And then there's going to be reference to UG29 as well, but all the calculations are going to be laid out here, down here for you. Um, so this will help with some of the additional requirements that you may have, may have had to have done when you're building your equipment as well. So those have been included for this build. Now we're going to stay on this model, but the other thing that we've added in for this build is we've, we've increased the nozzle attachments for you. So as many of you know, we can attach elbows, flanges, um, um, components like that, the B69 components to the end of the nozzle. Now for 8010, we've now included the B69Ts for you as well. So again, you've got pipes, elbows, reducers, pipe caps, flanges, and now Ts. And you can simply just select it onto the end there. Now you can go through the component menu or you can go through the quick add dialog over here and just simply attach it onto the end of the nozzle. So that's been included there for you. So again, to recap, we've, add, we've added the foundation load summary for you to help you work between the different departments. The UG80 out of round this check has been added as well as the B169Ts have been added for, as a nozzle attachment. Now, if you want to see a full listing of all of the maintenance fixes we've included as well as all the other features, simply come up here to the help menu and select view history. And you can go to our history document where we detail out everything that we've added into this build as well. Now, if you'd like to see more about our compressed program and how we can help you, please email sales at codeware.com or give us a call at 941-927-2670.